Um, between us, we're going to try and run through a live demo of building some video applications using Dire Star um, with Asterisk. Uh, the applications we're going to look at um, sort of you know, interactive video voice and response and video conferencing. So before that, I'm just going to guide you through sort of four slides and then we'll get into the, the live demonstration. So you know, I think now the market is sort of mature to the point where it's now ready for video. And you know, why do we say make this statement? Um, you look at mobile bandwidth. Um, that's now available or you can eat sort of data packages. Uh, end user demand for video apps. You have sort of peer-to-peer -peer applications like Skype, driving, uh, demand for video. Innovation of application developers, things like FaceTime now. Um, people are seeing adoption of, of, of video on FaceTime. And of course, the compatibility of, of handsets like the iPhone 4 and things like the Android, the Samsung Galaxy S. So, you know, within the um, telephony world, uh, on the left-hand side, you have the sort of video equivalents. Uh, we're going to concentrate here in the demonstration on sort of the conferencing, video conferencing, uh, and also the sort of IVVR uh, applications. I mean, just to give you a sort of brief overview of sort of what's involved when you're looking at the conferencing demo, uh, obviously, the point here is to be able to address multiple different endpoints. So whether it's a 3G 324M on the top left, or a uh, iPhone or Android phone running a SIP client at the top right, um, sort of a desk phone, Polycom, Grandstream type phone, or even a, uh, a SIP um, desktop video phone. And we're going to try and sort of show you all of those participating in conferencing in the demo. All of these could have different video codecs, 263, MPEG-4, 264. There's some sort of media stream processing required um, you know, to get them into a format where we can do a, a mix. So within the video conferencing, uh, to give you, you know, what they were called Hollywood squares, the different tiling options, so you can see four people in a single window. Obviously, when you're looking at um, sort of IVVR, uh, on top of the work that you have for an IVR and creating the audio content, you've also got the video content to consider as well. So you've got to look at video production. Um, within the bottom here, the, the media store, when you have that um, content available, uh, if you create it in the different formats, maybe the H.264 in a SIF format or a QSIF format, you know, having it in multiple formats can reduce the transcoding burden because obviously when you get into video transcoding, there's quite a bit of maths happening there. Um, also, when you're looking at the video production process, there's techniques maybe like uh, menu overlays that can uh, allow you to do that dynamically and programmatically rather than um, you know, having to actually record a menu uh, as a video stream. So that's the slide where out the way. Uh, I just want to try and sort of give you a quick overview of what we've got set up here. Um, so in this uh, old Dell server down here, uh, we have uh, Asterisk OpenSIP as the registrar. Uh, we have the Diastar server and media engine all loaded onto the one box here. Uh, we do have a Kapanga soft phone on the laptop, which we'll obviously use to show you what's going off on the screen. Uh, and then we have an assortment of uh, mobile clients. So on the iPhone, I <laughs> on the iPhone uh, we have the 3GS and the 4, and we're using a SIP soft client on there called Pocket Phone. Uh, and on the Android platform, we have IMS Droid. So we're going to you know, try and bring all these into the demonstration. Okay, and with that, I hand over to John and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, yes, it is a live demo. We'll see what happens. But nonetheless. Um, and obviously, just under here, we do have a Wi Fi box. So all of these units are talking Wi Fi back to the, uh, to the server here. Okay, we're going to start with a relatively simple IVVR sort of uh, dial plan. And. Uh, I'll put it together as we uh, go along as you uh, look at what I'm doing. So the, the important thing to remember here is um, the Diastar service providing the video resources, the video transcoding and multimedia, but everything to do with the experience is controlled in dial plan. 
So you know, effectively, Diastar just gets told what to do um, by dial flank commands. That's what John's just going to run through now. OK, uh, simple start here. We have a context uh, not coincidentally, coincidentally called Diastar. So incoming calls from the Diastar server will arrive at this context. Um, any extension we want to answer and uh, go to uh, a new context where we will start doing something interesting. OK. You uh, looking down a few lines, you might notice uh, a line that looks sort of familiar, but uh, not exactly. Yeah. Uh, I can see a Woomera playback. Now, certainly one of the first few dial plan commands anybody who deals with asterisk learns is playback. OK, so we have a Woomera playback. Oh, just uh, incidentally also, uh, Woomera is the protocol used between Diastar and asterisk, uh, if you're wondering where that uh, rather odd word comes from. So nonetheless, we're going to do a playback, an uninterrupted play, in this case, of audio and video, rather than just uh, simple audio playback. So we need to specify both a video and an audio file. So uh, dollar file loc, uh, fancy cars is the name of the application, and we play an audio and video here. And uh, that being the greeting, we just play through that and go to the main menu. All right, first thing in the main menu, kind of an unusual looking statement there. Uh, that is a Diastar-based overlay menu. Now you can make menus as part of your video production process, put words on the screen, uh, add uh, sound, uh, add various things, but uh, sometimes that's a bit of a nuisance and it is possible to simply specify a menu as part of the dial plan uh, using this particular uh, uh, construct here. So to look at it, uh, the overlay equals uh, ID is a menu. Uh, we have a template and a style sheet that uh, describes the menu and a header called uh, Fancy Car Menu and several menu items. One, two, three different sorts of uh, fancy cars and a footer as well. So we play that in a background command, and again here in a Woomera background command where we're doing both audio and video, then go into the usual wait extent, 20 seconds, and uh, we have the DTMF choices following that, and we go to uh, various uh, new contexts that simply play video clips. So the, the key here really is we have a simple JPEG which we then are able to dynamically create menu options, press one for the, a Ferrari, press two for a Maybach. Okay, and here again some playback commands, audio and video, each one corresponding to a uh, set of audio and video clips stored away on the Diastar server. All right, so we've got that, Let's save it. So hopefully what you should see when we run the demonstration is a, a main greeting uh, for a exotic car rental company. It will then give you a number of options that you can press to see a short video on one of the cars you may be interested in renting. Diastar defined menu that we looked at, and you, as you can see, uh, what, what's in the dial plan appears on the menu. Uh, you might uh, also, if your app was uh, particularly clever, build this dynamically. So that's uh, uh, also uh, doable. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we'll be giving them away at our booth later. <laughs> Stop by. One of the things that is sometimes difficult is getting all the uh, audio levels and uh, uh, screen formatting correct. Uh, uh, there is a lot more to the general production process than you would have just turning out, turning out audio clips. Okay, so what did you dial there? 3308? Three, uh, yeah. Actually, anything you dial. Oh, no, um, no, no, we need to uh, get back to the other dial plan. Okay, next one. All right. Okay, so. Um, So what? Uh, oh, do you want to try, tra change one of the menu oh, options yeah, and then yeah, yeah, we could do that. prove we've not fixed that? Oh, yeah, right. God, God forbid we should uh, have a rig demo here. All right, let's see. Perhaps the uh, my box is actually a Rolls Royce, so let's... Uh, And uh, this is really uh, handy if uh, you've ever gone through making a pile of video clips and then find that, oh, I spilt something, spelt something wrong or, or put in the wrong words, did something. You've got to go back, re-record, re-edit, reprocess, move the files in place. Uh, it's, it's a nuisance. Okay, amazing. It's a Rolls Royce now. Okay. Okay, so you, you know you can see how you know stringing together Woomera playbacks and Woomera backgrounds, you can make fairly powerful video applications very quickly. Okay. Uh, in terms of all the transcoding that's sort of happening there, that's just happening. You know, the Diastar server is looking at the STP coming in and deciding, oh, it's H two six three oh, I've got this file in uh, H.264, I need to do a transcode. So it'll always try and do a match to the file to try and reduce that burden, but if it can't, it will then just transcode automatically. Mm. And without transcoding uh, your own...